Ben Platt, you're helping to reopen the iconic Palace Theater. Dream come true moment for you? Yeah, huge. Not even dream come true in the sense that like this wasn't even on my list as something that would be possible. I mean, it's this iconic lofty thing that I, you know, watch videos from and seen specials about and just didn't ever see that for myself. And it's, it's like beyond my wildest dreams. For his palace engagement, Ben will reunite with Tony Award winning director Michael Arden. Arden directed Platt and Parade last season on Broadway. I'm really excited to get to kind of bridge the worlds of musical theater and, and you know the Broadway community that I feel so lucky to be part of, that I value so much, that I always want to please and 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 do good by, and also bring in this world of you know songwriting and Nashville and Americana and um, you know that type of storytelling and bridge them in a way that feels really unique to me hopefully and I think that the little amalgam of that feels like it's a, it's could be something really special. Ben will be performing music from his latest album Honey Mind. So the album I started writing in the spring of 2022 I felt a real need to just reconnect with myself internally and just see what comes out organically purely from my own desires and perspective and not try to put any particular style or bell or whistle on it and just see what it is. And I went to Nashville and did a few weeks of writing with that in mind and started to see music come out that was living very much in this kind of vintage American uh, folk, uh, Simon and Garfunkel energy of, uh, you know, storytelling and songwriting that's a bit more vocally reserved and leaned back. and was allowing the story and the, the writing of the melody to really be the star. But people said, don't stop until you've played the palace. In addition to singing music from his new album, Platt is also planning on paying tribute to the legends who've played the palace, like Judy Garland and her daughter, Liza Minnelli. And drummed into my head, unless you play the palace. Definitely, I'm looking to find a way to, to honor that very particular family. I haven't quite settled on exactly what, but there will be a nice homage in there for sure. Favorite Judy Liza tune? In this moment, first thing we can Probably the boy next door. How can I ignore the boy next door? Especially because I think what I really love is taking super like American classic images or sounds or stories and giving them as queer a perspective as possible. So. The Boy Next Door is such a gay song. And speaking of Judy, Ben shared what he'll be thinking when he takes to the Pals stage on his opening night. I think I'll just think about the younger me. I'll just think about like how much he would come home every day and watch Wizard of Oz and Me Mean St. Louis and you know wanted to be like Judy and wanted to be on Broadway. And I don't think he would ever dream that he would get to do it as himself, that he wouldn't even have to as much as he loves playing characters and being part of stories and making believe and all the fantasy, that even just him sharing himself and his own perspective and his own voice was would be enough to put him on the stage. So I, I'll, I'll remind myself of that, I think. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your communities, click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV for the latest information, balanced coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.